Good morning. I figured it might be nice to do things a little bit differently. Uh, I've challenged myself uh, for the next several days, I'm going to see how long I can go, uh, to be in creation and to do reflections on creation. Uh, I think now that we're in spring, I can muster that as a wimp. Uh, I'm also going to try to do short reflections. Uh, so part of what I'm going to use today is uh, from an Easter gift that I got from uh, my wife, Carrie, which is the entire Hebrew Bible. It's a three volume set, uh, which I highly recommend. It is a new translation and commentary by Robert Alter. And as I was taking a look at the introduction this morning, I noticed a verse that I could uh, zero in on. And so that's what I'm going to do. So uh, let's start the clock. I'm going to see if I can do this as, as quickly as possible so that you can engage in these responses throughout your days. So uh, let's start with a short prayer. Good and loving God, we thank you for coming to us each new day. We thank you for your presence with us and we thank you for your revelations to us that we may be good stewards of all that is in your creation entrusted into our care for your glory and your praise. In your great name we pray. Amen. So one of the things that is uh, often good to do uh, in terms of spiritual practices is to uh, pay attention to what comes to your attention. Yeah, I know, it's redundant. It might be Captain Obvious, but many spiritual disciplines kind of are. Um, remember, the disciples frequently are found just not getting it. So uh, understandably, a spiritual practice that's very important is making sure that we're getting what we're supposed to get. So having said that, uh, as I was reading the introduction to the Hebrew Bible translation and commentary by Robert Alter, I came across, uh, he was describing the translation process and uh, came across a reference to Job 6.15, a frequent word that is kind of not translated great from Hebrew to English, as this is an English translation, uh, is the word for wadi, you know, the closest word to it uh, in, in Hebrew of Jahal. Uh, and so it's not a creek, it's not a stream, uh, it's in the rainy season, it's really wet, and in the uh, dry season, it, it looks just like a, like a trough. Uh, and he uses this verse as an example. My brothers betrayed like a wadi, like the channel of brooks that run dry. And I thought that verse was really good to think about how Jesus was betrayed and also how seasons change and, and things shift in our lives. Um, and I think that's a really per help, particularly helpful insight uh, right now in this time when it seems like a lot of things have shifted and changed. You might feel like you're in a, a spiritual dry season. Or maybe uh, if you can open yourselves up, up to what God is sharing with your you and those in your your family you might actually find that this is kind of a rainy season for becoming aware of how God is with you during this time so let that be a verse that that kind of cycles through your heart and mind um, also circling back to how Jesus was betrayed um, so the the disciples went through that that seasonal shift right before Jesus' eyes. And so consider that also. Uh, as we're now in Easter, uh, we can certainly celebrate, but we can also keep in mind what happened to get us there. So let us close the word of prayer. Good and loving God, we pray that you help us to be mindful this day of the rainy sections and the dry sections of our lives right now. Uh, and we ask that you help us to cast aside betrayals and mistrust and frustrations and fears and that we would place them into your capable hands guide us into deeper insight into your created goodness in your great name we pray amen all right i pray that this is useful for you as you begin your day god's peace